What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Tiffany Henyard, as you all know, is the super mayor of Dalton, self-proclaimed at least. We also refer to her as a city girl mayor because she basically is a city girl. She pops her gums, she talks back, she insults people. That's all she does. Now, since things are coming down on her, guess what she's doing? She's begging for her life and trying to tell people how good of a mayor she is. She's even, she's even compared herself to Jesus Christ. And you're gonna see it in this clip. Because at the end of the day, they talked about Jesus Christ. So why don't I think y'all are not gonna do me the same way? Somebody that's healing y'all and helping y'all. Same thing I'm over here doing, right? But with all of the development that she's talking about, here is a story of a woman that is trying to do some great things in the city of Dalton, like trying to feed the homeless, right? So you would think that the mayor would want to help a person who wants to bring this development, right? You're gonna hear this is wrong. Check out this particular documentary and we're gonna come back and check it out. Meet Dr. Nicole Scott, the powerhouse behind the American Association of Single Parents, a nonprofit with a relentless drive to uplift the community. Dr. Scott invested in the potential of Dalton, purchasing the 83,000 square foot strip mall on 142nd and King Drive with a vision to revitalize the area, to create the ABBA Recreation and Resource Center, Yet despite her best efforts, progress stalls. Mayor Tiffany Henyard and her administrator Keith Freeman halts her plans, denying permits crucial for community growth and development. My name is Dr. Nicole Scott, and I am the president and founder of American Association of Single Parents. We support the single parent community through charitable, social, and educational programs. Um, we do that with the hope that they will become agents of change in their community. Um, part of our charitable assistance program, we have what's called the Free Indeed Market. I'm a woman of faith, and so everything that we do is connected to the Word of God. And so Free Indeed Market is a pantry. Uh, it's a client choice pantry, and it comes from the scripture found in John 8, 3, 6, who the sun sets free is free indeed. And so the market is called Free Indeed Market, where grocery shopping is literally 100% free. And so we are serving here in Dalton. We opened up in um, September uh, 2021 and we've been serving here in Dalton at the market since then and the space that we are in um, is about 5,500 square feet but I clearly heard God tell me that you needed the entire building and for those of you who don't know this space is 83,000 square feet of space that we have been able to acquire in the village of Dalton. And with this space, we decided to create or establish the ABBA Center. ABBA meaning father. A father is supposed to protect, guide, and support his family. And we decided those are the kind of programming and services that we wanted to offer here in the village of Dalton. And with that, um, we had high hopes to be able to work with the current administration, uh, Tiffany Henyard and her uh, administration over at the village of Dalton. However, since we closed on the property in June of 2023, we have not been able to do that. Um, we have had uh, meetings, um, I wrote a letter. We've made several attempts to really uh, make this work. However, we're at a standstill. Uh, the ABBA Recreation Resource Center was going to have a myriad of services for the community. Um, for those who are looking for shelter, um, for people who uh, have small children and they want assistance with raising their children, financial literacy, um, 
a, a number of services that we know the community needs because they've told us. Um, I know the mayor talks about how she wants to make progress. And initially, we wanted to do that with her. However, because of their interest in the property, there has not been any assistance for us. So you guys heard it. That is Dr. Nicole Scott, the lady who's doing all of these great things by herself, it seems, right? While the mayor is spending a lot of money going to, I don't know, every place in the world, buying hotels, going to Vegas, using the town's money, putting the town in the, the city of Dalton in $7 million in debt. Dr. Nicole Scott is trying to do something, empowering single mothers, giving them free food, things that the mayor says she's doing, but no, the mayor's still in the town's money to do it. Here's the lady that's actually doing it. She didn't ask for any money. She's doing it. She bought the property. She's trying to develop the community bringing back things in the community to do for the people. And let me just say this, this lady probably can live anywhere, right? She probably has enough money and enough skill to not even be dealing somewhere in Dalton, but she does. And I'm gonna tell you like this, this is why a lot of talented blacks, if you really wanna know the truth, leave black America, all right? And don't want anything to do with it. I'm gonna tell you largely why, because people are haters. It be haters in the politics. And I'm gonna tell you, it's the same thing a lot of Africans say that go on in countries. A lot of people go out, they do things, want to get development. Want to know who's stopping them? People in the government. It's not just an African thing or a Jamaican thing. It's right there in the black community. A lot of the people that stop the progress are people like this. But they're the ones talking about what they're doing because they're self-aggrandizing. They are self-aggrandizers. Go and look at the Dalton Village page on YouTube. Everything you see is pictures of Tiffany Henyard as the super mayor. She don't care nothing about those people. It's all about what she feels like or what she looks like. That's all that matters. And then you wonder why you don't get any goddamn place because you have somebody who's acting silly and immature like her. And the real people who do the work, they don't wanna be all seen on the TV and they don't wanna be all seen in the media. They wanna just do the work that should be done because their purpose is to help people. They don't live for clout. They don't live for recognition or in, in, in recognition for doing nothing. People that I know that always only recognize, they don't never do shit, okay? I always see people taking pictures. <laughs> Those are my favorite. The chronic picture takers, always taking pictures. For why are you taking pictures? You're a bum. You don't do anything. You don't help anybody get a cheat. Nothing, you're a liar, okay? You're a fraud. You're a fraud. You're terrible. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do, Scarlett Bell. We're out.